Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at Elego's Penguin Bot 2.0. In this video, I'll be unboxing the Penguin Bot's kit and take a look at all the different features that this small size robot has. We'll see what we can learn from this kit and see whether if it's really worth buying it. So without any delay, let's get started. Before we open up the kit, let's take a quick look at Penguin Bot's features. It has a dancing mode, a music player mode, an obstacle avoidance mode and an auto follow mode. From the ground up, this kit was designed mainly for children between the age of 6 to 12 years old. But we'll see if that's really the case at the end of the video. The kit also comes with a micro USB cable so that you can charge the penguin ball and reprogram it if you wish to. Okay, so now let's open up the kit and let's take a look at what it comes with. It comes with a few masks to decorate your penguin bot. There are multiple ones. It comes with an instruction manual for the penguin bot 2.0. This has detailed instructions on how you can assemble the penguin bot, all the components list, and it even lists which components you need in order to assemble the penguin bot in each step. It shows you how to use the penguin bot and how to upload the program if you wish to change the penguin bot in any way. It tells you how to install the app and how to use it. I'll show you this step later on in the video. A custom made printed circuit board for the penguin bot specially. It uses the Arduino Nano as the main microcontroller. It has some rubber feet so that the penguin bot doesn't scratch your table. Four servo motors. It has two point two five watt eight ohm speakers. This is so that the penguin box can play the music. It comes with a screwdriver and some connectors for the ultrasonic sensor. It comes with a lithium ion battery that can be mounted specially just for the penguin ball. This battery is rechargeable. It comes with a few screws, some standoffs, and some special hinge pieces. We have the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. This is for obstacle avoidance. We have bolts and nuts. plastic pieces for the body. They're all specialized for the penguin ball alone. Now I'm not going to show a step by step assembly because the instructions seem very straightforward. So I will show my assembly at each stage.
Okay, now the penguin bot is completely assembled. Let's turn it on. It has this little stop sequence when you switch it on. Okay, now let's take a look at what's behind the penguin bot. It has a USB port for charging. You can charge it with the USB cable that comes with the kit. And it also has an LED indicator to let you know once it's fully charged. It also has an Arduino Nano, which is the brain of the penguin bot. This microcontroller can be reprogrammed using the micro USB cable that comes with the kit. The code used to program the penguin bot can be found on the Illigo website along with its specifications. It also has a micro SD card which contains the music files. You can connect it to your computer using an SD card reader and change the music files if you wish. Next, go to the Play Store and install Elego's Bluetooth tool and launch it. This is so that we can control the penguin bot directly from our phone and give it commands. Once it's done loading, scroll over and choose penguin bot. Now there are two controllers that you can use. You can use the pre-made control or you can use your own custom one. But first let's look at the pre-made controller. Wait for it to connect and this is the interface. Before using the penguin bot with your phone, make sure that it's switched to Bluetooth mode and not upload. This is very important or else the penguin bot won't receive commands. I have it connected on the control mode on, and it's connected to my phone now. So if I hit forwards, we'll move forwards. If I hit the steady state button, it'll stay steady. You can also get it to move backwards. To the right, forward, get it stop, we'll make it turn to the left, you can get it to stop like that. Now it also has like a few other modes here, it has four different ones. It has like a dancing mode, uh, it has like a f uh, follow the companion mode. Uh, it has a music mode where it just uh, plays music and dances and it has an obstacle avoidance mode So we'll start with the dancing mode So we'll hit the play uh, dance mode and we'll see what happens It like, plays music and dances We can change the music in the SD card reader if you want from behind let's get switched mode now it just plays music in the music mode now let's switch it to following mode see it's trying to follow my hand it's turning whichever direction my hand turns and now let's move to obstacle avoidance mode. As it's moving forward, my hand's in the way. It's trying to find a different path but going backwards. There you go. It's walking backwards now. So those are all the modes, uh, the default uh, thing. Now let's move on to our custom made button that I showed you on screen before. So let's hit forward on this and it moves forward. Now if I want I can create a custom made character. I can call it stop. And if I send it, send the message S, it should stop. There we go. If I have forward, it stop, goes forward. If I hit stop, it will stop. So you can you can even change the look of the penguin bot by using the foldable masks that come with the kit. The instruction manual shows you how you can fold them into place. The kit has plenty of other ones that work exactly the same. And that's pretty much everything the penguin bot can do. Now I see no age restrictions on this kit 
and I think there's plenty that everyone can learn from it. Whether if you're getting started with Arduino or even if you're just a power user becoming advanced with Arduino. Because thanks to the datasheet and source code provided on the Illigo website, you can reprogram the Penguin Ball however you wish to. And it's so intuitive and organized that anyone can do this. It's a great kit. It's definitely worth picking up. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments how it was. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And turn on your notifications so that you'll know when my new video drops in next time. Thank you. Bye.